This video talks about a 23-year-old woman comes to the physician because of one-day history of chills, nausea, and vomiting. She also has a four-day history of flank pain, urinary, urinary frequency and urgency, and pain with urination. Her temperature is 38.9 degrees Celsius, pulse 125, blood pressure 96 over 60. Physical exam shows right cost of vertebral angle tenderness. Urine analysis shows 25 WBC. A urine sample grows pink colonies in lactose McConkie agar, produces a characteristic green sheen on eosinophil methylene blue agar, and is indole positive. The production of which of the following bacteria aids in the virulence of the casual organism in this patient. So it's quite obvious that this patient had an UTI for the last four days because of flank pain, urinary frequency and urgency, pain with urination. She also has WBCs, 25 WBC in her urine. And now she's having fever, pulse is high, blood pressure is low, which is going into shock. She's going into shock. And the urine was a uh, sample what was analyzed. And the colonies turned grew pink in lactose. Uh, McConkie agar produces a characteristic green sheen on eosinophil methylene blue agar. So that's an EMB agar. Which, uh, which bug grows in EMB agar? That would be E. coli. That's one clue. Another clue is that it says lactose McConkie agar. So it, it's a lactose fermenting um, bug. So what are the lactose fermenting bug? Klebsiella, E. coli, and Enterobacter. And again, we are so sure this is E. coli because it has a green sheen on eosinophil methylene blue agar. Now the question says, the production of which of the following by the bacterium aids in the virulence of the casual organism in this patient? So this patient had UTI. So what factor, what virulence factor of this bacteria is responsible for causing UTI. So even before looking at the looking at the option, I can say, you know, maybe pili for gram negative or fimbriae, anything that will let the bacteria hold on to the surface, right? So I'm going to look for an option in the option choices. So adhesins, maybe pili or fimbriae could be made of adhesins. So A could be a possible answer. Antihemolytic factors, no. Pyrogenic exotoxin, no. Ticoic acid in cell wall. Ticoic acid is mostly seen in gram positive, not gram negative, and we are very sure that this is gram negative. So that is not the right answer. Thick uh, peptidoglycan layer, that's not the reason for um, virulence. The reason for virulence is going to be adhesins. So in this case, the answer is going to be choice A.